Message from our sponsors. Digari Sokens Deluxe, a delicious on-the-go instant cereal made from a tasty combination of grated cassava tubers, creamy powdered milk, honey roasted peanuts, brown sugar. It is the perfect infusion of essential nutrients with a delicate balance of sweet crunchiness and wholesome goodness. Now, you can have a healthy portion of the world's best Gary Sokens on the go, ready to eat in minutes. The Gary, just add water. Available in most supermarkets. For bulk purchase, contact 024-294-2551, Ghana. In 2013, the chairman of the OAU Council wrote an imaginary letter of apology to Kwame Nkrumah. What triggered the letter and what did she express? Let's begin with the former. Pan-Africanism is an issue of still pertinent relevance and many recall its tale carried by Africans in the diaspora. Prior to the renowned meeting of 1945 in the UK at Manchester, countries such as Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, and others sought ways to remain connected with Africa. The names of Marcus Garvey, Sylvester Williams, and W.E.B. Du Bois are all associated with this struggle, the latter being crucial for African-American emancipation from slavery and prejudice. This culminated with the first convention ever attended by Africans, which sparked a critical part in Africa's decolonization process. This meeting in Manchester, attended by Kwame Nkrumah, discussing decolonization without access to modern technology or transport, yet still managing to communicate and organize effectively. 39 years before this meeting, in April 1906, South African Pixley Same delivered a speech at the University of Columbia, which would become known as the call for the regeneration of Africa. This speech highlighted the plight of Africans who were bound in slavery and subjected to colonialism due to many European powers dividing Africa during the Berlin Conference in 1884 to 1885, where European powers divided the continent into sections with vested interests. All these powers sought to benefit from natural and human resources within Africa. This spirit of decolonization persisted with figures such as Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, W.E.B. Du Bois, advocating for African liberation and collaboration with the diaspora. The agitation for independence was palpable, with Ghana's Kwame Nkrumah famously saying in 1949, seek first the political kingdom and the rest will be given unto you. However, it is clear that the rest has yet to be given, and the continent remains weakened by its lack of unity. Looking back, it is admirable that African leaders recognized the importance of unity in decolonization and proved conscious of the need for it. The struggle for independence engulfed the entire continent of Africa. On the 6th of March, 1957, Ghana regained its independence as Ghana, previously known as the Gold Coast. One of the most eloquent and passionate advocates for Pan-Africanism was none other than Kwame Nkrumah. Upon Ghana's independence, 
he boldly proclaimed that Ghana's independence was inconsequential if the rest of the continent could not also be liberated. This sentiment was not just talk. As one year after Ghana gained independence, Guinea and the French Sudan, present-day Mali, also regained their independence. They signed a pact to establish what we know today as the African Union, seeing this as the first step in Africa's potential. Kwame Nkrumah recognized the importance of unity amongst African nations and warned about the catastrophic consequences of disunity. If there was no solidarity, their future was inevitable. And of all the leaders at that time, he exemplified the greatest vision for a unified Africa. Nkrumah recognized that unity was the key to Africa's success and that without it, we would be stuck in the same place. Indefinitely, we will be stuck in time. In 1958, Nkrumah recognized the danger of African nations' disunity and summoned a meeting in Accra of the independent African states. He warned them of the neo-colonialist agenda that sought to keep African nations small and divided to sustain the colonial project. In 1961, during a speech in Casablanca, Morocco, Nkrumah stressed the agency of unity before leaders could become too comfortable in their positions of power. He highlighted how power was easy to get used to and leaders found it challenging to relinquish their ministerial roles once accustomed to the trappings of power. While forming the Casablanca Group, other African nations were split with the creation of the Monrovia Group, which preferred a gradual approach to unity. The Casablanca Group said, Unity now. The Monrovia Group says, Unity gradually. The Casablanca Group, famously comprising Kwame Nkrumah from Ghana, we had Egypt there, we have Algeria, we had Mali, advocated for immediate unity amongst African nations. William Tubman and Emperor Haile Selassie were members of the Monrovia Group. By the time Haile Selassie convened a summit in Addis Ababa on May 25, 1963, the Pan-African agenda had been watered down and two groups existed. On May 25, 1963, 32 heads of state and government gathered in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, for a historical summit. Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia hosted the event. The most passionate speech again was that of Kwame Nkrumah. He tells them, let us not live here without one government, without one currency, without one army, without having chosen a capital. And he proposed that the capital of the new Africa either be in the Central African Republic or the Congo what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo. Let's read Kwame Nkrumah's speech. He said, This committee should establish on behalf of the heads of our government a permanent body of officials and experts to work out a machinery for the Union Government of Africa. This body of officials and experts should be made up of two of the best brains from each independent African state. These various charters of the existing groupings and other relevant documents could also be submitted to the officials and experts. A presidium consisting of the heads of governments of the independent African states should be called upon to meet to adopt a constitution and other recommendations which will launch the Union Government of Africa. We must also decide on the location where this body of officials and experts will work as the new headquarters of Africa of our union government. Some central place in Africa, 
either in the Central African Republic or Congo. My colleagues may have other proposals. The Committee of Foreign Ministers, Officials and Experts should be empowered to establish, one, a commission to frame a constitution for a union government of African states, a commission to work out a continent-wide plan for a unified or common economic and industrial program for Africa. This plan should include proposals for setting up a common market for Africa, an African currency, African monetary zone, an Africa central bank, a continental communication system, a commission to draw up details for a common foreign policy and diplomacy, a common system of defense, a common African citizenship. Nobody listened to Kwame Nkrumah. During his speech, the leader of the Central African Republic, David Dako, warned that without an African Union, France would return to Central African Republic. A prophecy that has since come true. Kwame Nkrumah's ominous words about the dangers of disunity among Africans have proven to be prophetic. He warned that if we couldn't come together in a Pan-African spirit, the imperialists would use our ethnic differences to cause division amongst us. Unfortunately, History has revealed that his concerns were justified. The imperialists did exactly what Nkrumah had predicted. They orchestrated assassinations and staged coups to exploit us while we fought amongst ourselves. Kwame Nkrumah himself was overthrown in a coup and his books and speeches were banned. The list of coups and mutinies goes on, and they all happened because we allowed ourselves to be divided and weakened. What well, Bronnie say? The sweetness of the pudding is in the eating. Queer, way there. Gary soakings with swag. Taste warm Gary shake. Sugar shake. And catsy shake. Now milk is warm. The Gary, the Gary, the Gary, the Gary. We can see ya. Now set it. The Gary, the B. Gary soakings mu already made. A train so shall hold. Way there. Natural taste. Ube ye be a top. I was shop a beer. Nemum. Ope the wet to her. Fred. Zero two four. 886-3301 Tigari We all will chop some Senkai boy FD Ajetu 